Go. Where do we go from here? Uh, I am there. We can go down that way. Mm. Okay. I am going to guess that way is the way to go. Uh, and then I'm going to guess it shouldn't be the way to go. Because that path ends right there. Okay. So we need to go to the right side of 42, which is that way. I'm vaguely aware of this area of the map. It's where we do a lot of our grass contracts. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely familiar with how to get around here. This is looking very good. Because we usually cycle through here for 44, 42, 45 when we're mowing. And this takes us right out here on this field. So unfold that, unfold that quickly, keep moving. by the markings straight across the field this way. I don't know where it's 62, 45, 13%. No, 17%. So I reckon we're going to use less than 17% to finish this field off, which probably a thing. After that, Who knows what we're doing? I guess we'll take it to the left <coughs> and headland round anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on where you come from. And then I want to look for a north exit from here, which is quite possibly on the other side of that hedge which will take us directly to our arable farmyard. I think maybe once we've once we're back at the yard, everything's put away. I'll probably call the stream at that point. And I need some food and something to drink and all of the fun stuff. I'll sell the April consumables. Uh, sorry, not consumables. Um, perishables. And get myself a roller and then probably roll the two fields that need to be rolled and then next week uh, we will be looking at May and doing some farming stuff in May which may end up contracting grass and doing some of the things and panicking because we've got no food for our cows again. Yeah, all the good stuff. Although we might get lucky with uh, contracts. Oh, that's not 
that's not the most awesomest thing. I don't know. The thing is, if if there are if there are grass silage contracts to cut in May, I might avail myself of doing as many of them as I can. But getting the wrapped bales back to our yard might be a little bit of a challenge because of the bugged nature of bales at this point. The alternative, well, not the alternative, but um, the other option is to put auto load on the bale trailer that we bought right at the beginning of this series and really haven't used it that much just so that I can transfer at least those bales back to the yard without them bugging out on me. We'll keep the Anderson trailer for selling bales because the bales bug out when you're unloading them but they don't unload when you turn up at a sell point to sell contract bales. They, um, they vanish off the back of the trailer as soon as they're in the sell point. So that might end up as um, at least the saving grace for that trailer. I want to look to see how much the What is it the uh, the Roland trailer will hold because maybe that's the other option we go at least as far as our farm is concerned we get ourselves a square baler and that's much easier to stack with the the, uh, the telehandler so having bales that I'm stacking on that trailer manually with the telehandler might be the thing the way to go and then I'm just keeping the, the, the round baler wrapper for um, for uh, contract work. And the Anderson for contract work as well. We'll get rid of the extractor at that point. Maybe. Yes, almost definitely. But I think most of our fields, we are going to be cutting the ba cutting the grass as conditioned grass for direct feeding or direct grazing of the cows. So that, that covers all of their food requirements. And we're able to do that for most of the year. We just need silage and grass, sorry, maize and grass silage to cover the winter months when we don't have available grass. Anyway. So, long term plans there. So again, next month we'll probably be struggling almost as much as we are this month with lack of money because as I said I plan to buy the roller <coughs> I might get really lucky and the roller comes up for sale at the store tomorrow when I intend to buy it but that's not always a, a guarantee so 41,000 to buy it we're halfway there and 40,000 from our butter and tomato sales. Um, we've got more than enough and we should start May with 20,000. No, we won't. Because there's the monthly farm costs, or daily, well, daily farm costs, which are, what, about 5,000. So we'd probably be down to 15, 10, 15. Uh, yeah, we'll probably be down to 10,000 on May 1. It 
is what it is. Oh, down to 50% already. So how close is my guesstimate going to be? Cruise control, let's pull up the, the dude. And we are 88% down, so potentially 4%. Is all we're going to use, or well, less than four percent. And as I said, we'll see next week. Oh, next week is Memorial Day. I don't think I, our my employer doesn't observe that. So, uh, not going to be a thing I do, but the kids are off visiting Grandma and Grandpa, apparently with a lot of the rest of the family, um, not direct family, but cousins and nephews and that sort of thing. So, uh, so we don't have them next weekend. So next weekend will be a potentially nice quiet weekend and we'll be able to take, take time out to plant stuff and what have you. Not farm sim, but uh, yeah, plant real world stuff and uh, tidy up the yard and stuff like that, which will be awesome. But then following week we'll be back to normal with loud kids in the house and all of the things. And we're down 47%, still not finished. Come on, you can do it. You know it makes sense. 39% field on the contract, 39 done. Lift the thing, fold the thing, get paid for the thing, yay. So, we got paid, we go home, 25,000, nice. So, cows have food, we have cash, we can cover the costs of a few things. Um, I'm going to turn left here. It could be a bad plan. Oh, that's actually looking promising. Actually, that's looking like exactly the direction I want to be heading. Because this field on our left is ours. Which means there's an exit to the road here. Woohoo! Nice. So yeah, as things expand on the farm, I may do a bit of a look at, um, well when we get a planter because we're going to want to plant maize, I will also at that point consider branching out into things like sugar beets and what have you. Sugar beets are a very good crop to uh, very good crop to make money with but the harvesting equipment can potentially cost a ton of money and sadly our little Massey Ferguson does not have a front mount to put the topper into but we'll see how that works out. So that's parked, that's off. I'm going to jump out. So potentially we have see things like 66, 75, even 39. That was just straight down that line to here. 
So. <coughs> that field's base value is currently 99. And I think it was 75 and 78. That's a nice field. 100% low. Um, and it is... A very low value. That's only 31,000. Good grief. If we could manage to raise the money for that, that would be absolutely spectacular. I'm not confident that it will remain at almost 36% cheap. Same with this one. I mean, 74,000, that's a good size field. Yeah, those two. Currently are running at a discount, but... That one's not quite as good on uh, um, the stuff, the dirt. The dirt is not quite as good as that dirt. 66 has good dirt. That doesn't matter. Okay, so I think we are good here. The cows have 312,000 food. Um, it's still only 9 o'clock in the morning, but quite frankly, there's just nothing worth our while to do and that pay 35 that pay 24 but they're like field four is down here the other one is 125 down here somewhere down by the store so long way to drive for not a lot of reward Still, I think we done okay. We'll walk down the uh, grass verge, try not to get run over. No risk of that, and then get torn up by walking through the hedge. So, I will call that a productive, a relatively productive day. I will also check on one last check on the cows. They have 312,000 and sleep till 7. So that's 22 hours. I reckon they'd probably be down at about 240. Oh, rain. No rain. Uh, oh, sheesh. See, that's... That is a lot of food. We, they go, yeah, we need to replenish their food today. Or, no, we, we can let them run one more day and then we have to replenish their food. That's how much, how quickly they're eating. Um, there is a great demand at the farmer's market. We could look at... Um, we're going to have butter and tomatoes. Well, it's not tomatoes. Um, I probably drove past butter. No. Oh. And it's not butter. So cheese is worth 17. Butter is worth 9. And that's why we produce butter, because 2 times butter is 18,000. Um, so butter's a little bit more valuable although you have to move more of it anyway let me oh, do the things and do the stuff um, we looked at the cows one last thing to look at before we go for the day is big giant Volvo another one of those I have one of those but these see they have the auto load ability Auto load, yes, no. So all you do is yes or no. Oh, in colour. Oh, they could be black. We have a blue one. Standard curved sides, straight sides, straight sides with curves on top, and wheels. They have wheels. Wheels are good. You can have BKTs or trouble. 
But yeah, we bought one of these right at the beginning because it was on sale. But I might add the auto load in on it so that um, it's uh, I can use it painlessly at least when I'm doing round bales. Square bales will try and use will try to do those on our farm when we've got tractors big enough. But as I said, tractors big enough are going to be at the top of this range. So, Valtra and Arian 66, 660, 660. Uh, the Maxim is a possibility. Probably not the Lintrack because that is limited 136 only. 6S is possible. An older stir is 135, not really great. 6M, too small. It's only 140. T6 is 175. T6 is a possibility. Um, that 150, that's 142. I'm kind of looking at something over 150. So we've got this capable of 145. That's capable of 145. You get up to the T6, it's kind of a no frills, 175. Um, 6M is too small. 6S. 180 maximum is the same as the T6, <coughs> but um, 10,000 more for some reason. The class and the Valtra are good. Uh, Kubota M6, no. Um, Armor Track, no. Class 500, they'll take you 165. Um, possible. Agri Star 143, a couple of Fords I've got loaded, no, 5M 120, um, those are uh, less than 100, that's 140 for a T5, and then that's 150 which is borderline, so I'm kind of looking probably at the Maxim, the 6S, uh, the T6, there might be some Mod 6s that I could look at, or the Class or the Valtra. So they are what they are, but any one of those tractors could be a fair replacement for the, um, the 5S. And then with Baylor's, if we go square, good um, 250 so yeah if we go square we're going to need serious horsepower that's 195 245 275 275 um, our Deutz is see that's that Deutz 165 does the full range of sizes Round, round, fast bail, fast bail. So, yeah, potentially the Big Master 6912 is a, a square baler with a very low horsepower requirement. So if we've got a 180 horsepower tractor, they could haul that at a push. And then the round balers, um, these are 140, which is why I'm looking for... Um, eventual replacement of the the 5S because it just can't pull that well, it can bear, well ours can't it's 125 it cost me way too much I can't justify upping it to 140 anyway um, so at this time it is 10 after 12 so I'm going to go and get myself some food because I know it's on sale too there is Oh, there is a big master on sale. Mm. I don't have the cash right now. And you can't lease it because it's on sale. But yeah, I'm not looking at moving into square bales right this minute. I like I like our little round baler. It, it, it's good enough for what we're doing. But farm expansion plans. And that's probably more of a line when I get to... Um, potentially 
buying field 53 as grass and converting 51 back into grass just because of the amount you know we, we saw the amount of food those cows ate they've gone 120,000 in 22 hours so that's a lot of food um, and we have 81,000 litres of milk so that's since yesterday we we almost emptied that it was about 52,000 so we took 50 out and I've got three truck loads <laughs> to haul but I'm going to do all of the the haulage stuff um, off camera so no flour working no bread working butter I've got 21 almost 21,000 litres of butter in the thing plus there's about 12 crates outside so there's 30,000 litres of butter there tomatoes uh, probably need to check on might need to make a water run but we've got 6,000 plus 8 no plus 4 so we've got about 10,000 litres of tomatoes and about as I said 33,000 litres of butter and that's where the money's coming at the moment 33,000 that's almost 33,000 pounds. Well, we've got the, the environmental bonus if we take it to Maybold Export, which will, yeah, 33,000 pounds plus whatever we get for the tomatoes. Um, I don't know where they went. Somebody ate my tomatoes. There they are. They're 500 per thousand. And as I said, we've got four, ten, about 10,000, so that's another 5,000 pounds lots and lots of money coming from our perishables and really the biggest thing I need now is the roller to do the field across the road and the one over there somewhere so we will be back next week it will be May 1 and sadly we'll have some more spraying to do basically our two fields plus the uh, the other field um, plus the, 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 the weed stuff killing weeds I guess right now we can sit by the garden fence and gaze over our land which hmm, stuff is growing good stuff anyway I will wish you all a good week and we will be back, as I said, next week with some more from Maple Farm. But for now, I am out of here. Have fun, everybody.